everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing very, very well. Today's video, I thought I would do a shop with me around Poundland, which I hadn't done for absolutely ages. Um, I went to the Poundland in Chester. It's not that big, but I do feel like I spotted some really good stuff. They still had all of the Father's Day stuff in there when I filmed it, but I kept that in the video anyway, um, because I did notice, again, after Father's Day, they still had quite a lot of it in there. And I do think some of it's just nice homeware, nice gifts for all year round. Also, I'm already thinking about like possible Christmas ideas. I know it's only June, but I do get very excited about Christmas. And they had loads of things that I thought would be so good for that. Um, but yeah, just loads of nice homeware. It's quite a short and sweet video, but I am looking forward to sharing it all with you so here we go so starting off with some homeware i really liked this black and white vase for five pound i also liked that fake orchid plant i think that is really pretty nice big size as well these little succulent um vases are really cute as well a couple of them in the bathroom i think would just look really nice also love this artificial eucalyptus plant how nice are these as well? These look so expensive. £5 for the one that's like um, under the sea sort of theme and yeah, £3 for the other ones. Really cute re-diffusers as well for £4. Nice bits of storage as well that are spotted and some really inexpensive things for the bathroom, the towels and bathroom accessories. These are so pretty for £2. I thought it'd be quite nice to have one of those for like storing makeup brushes in or something like that. Also love this little candle for £2. And I'm always really impressed with all of the kitchen accessories. I think these little dip bowls that come in, I think it's like a pack of four. I think they're really good for just for like little serving bowls for putting things like like I say, like dips and having a little grazing platter for with little bowls like that really come in handy. This is so nice as well and only £2. I thought that was such a bargain. I didn't see a price on this outdoor rug, but I think it is a really nice design. Also, always really impressed with all of the things that they have for pat lunches. How cute is this for the kids? £5 for that dinosaur and drinks lunch box these little casserole dishes i love as well they remind me a lot of le creuse but obviously a much much cheaper price um but yeah they're really cute for doing like little individual portions of things for people like you could do like little apple crumbles or something if you're having people round you could do little individual desserts i love the idea of that i thought this was good as well this big chopping board which was five pound then on to the sort of garden section i actually bought one of these last year real bargain i just keep it on my kitchen shelf with a couple of artificial plants in it i just think it's quite nice to have on display but obviously you could have it out in the garden as well these are really nice as well um these watering cans for eight pound i thought they were just a really pretty design i should have got one actually because we definitely need a watering can and archie loves to go out and water the plants for me but they had lots of nice artificial um hanging baskets and things as well i think that bird cage um, at the bottom is really cute but these are nice with the purple flowers in the sort of cone shaped hanging baskets i think they are really nice for artificial ones this i loved as well for two pound fifty nice little hanging plant pots also these lanterns for six pound i thought were really nice as well i do love a lantern in the garden and they had loads of solar lights as well as some of these hanging bulbs i got something very similar from b m not long ago I really love fairy lights when they're wrapped all around the trees outside so they had some of those in Poundland as well they also had some of these solar lamps um, for £12 which could be quite nice if you've got a little seating area outside to have a little solar lamp out there some more hanging plant pots and then these little plant sprays for £1.50 I thought this artificial wreath was nice as well just a nice circle one they also had the topiary balls in there as well they had loads of things for the kids in the garden section so things for playing outside paddling pools sun tents loads and loads of different garden games i was really impressed actually because there was a great selection in there
they also had a good little barbecue outdoor dining picnic section um things for the barbecue this is called this little incense burner just to keep the bugs away some more lanterns as well and things like food covers and ice cube trays just lots of things for picnicking and like i say your outdoor dining love this that comes with the cups inside it as well for just five a pound also how cute are these little lanterns that you can hang up for two pound be nice if you're having a barbecue and having people round. i was so impressed with their travel section these are so good aren't they these ponchos tiny as well fit in your bag for one pound fifty great for if you're going to a festival or something they've also got like toothbrush covers mini fans um loads of little things that would just be so good for if you're traveling anywhere and all really good prices I also just had a little look at the technology area so things like the headphones and the accessories for your phones i thought these look really expensive actually these headphones they're quite aesthetic looking i thought they look really nice they've also got ring lights and phone holders tripods and things like that also a small section of flip-flops and socks and things always nice and inexpensive the pep and co range this i thought was really good as well they do do some great acrylic storage in there for your makeup and that would have held absolutely loads of different eyeshadow palettes or something like that they have got loads of inexpensive gorgeous beauty products all of this fern range i think looks really nice as well and also the artificial nails they've got a lot of jess right um accessories like lashes and nails great for little beauty gifts that you could put together you could put together a really nice hamper for somebody that wouldn't cost very much this is cute as well this makeup bag for just four pound a really good size these brushes as well nice travel size good tangle teasers that can fit in your bag and i really like the pattern of that as well now this is the Father's Day section but they did still have a lot of this in after Father's Day. I thought these mugs were really nice just anyway. Um, only one pound as well. They had some really cool accessories and things in that would just be so good for gifts. If it does go I hope they bring it all back for Christmas time because you could put together such a nice hamper for your dad, granddad, partner, whoever. That is so cool, a little rolled up magnetic dartboard, a beer frosty mug. I love all these notepads that they do as well. Also these, it's like socks and boxes sets, just really good. It's going to be great at Christmas time. I know it's a little bit early to be talking about that, but I do love to start planning that early. But yeah, some of these would be great for stocking fillers. I do love Poundland at Christmas time. This is good as well, like a movie poster. They just had loads of good little bits. Probably the best selection of stuff that I've seen actually in shops like this, better than like home bargains and things. I was really impressed. I also really like these bar signs at the bottom. I thought that they would just be great for outside, especially now in the summer. If you've got a little outdoor bar area, they'd be so good. There you go guys, that is everything that I spotted in Poundland. I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button as well if you're not already. And I would absolutely love it and appreciate it if you came back again for my next video. Bye everyone.